Spidey's back. Yes. I'm back with another piece of crap from 1954 called Killers from Space. <laughs> it's from this collection right here. 50 of the worst movies ever made. Well, not really. I'm just making a joke about it because it's funny. It's actually playing on my DVD player right to my left. I'll show you some clips after I explain what the damn movie's about. It stars Peter Graves, of all people. Uh, one of my heroes from, like, way back in the day. He was the thing and everything else, man. Anyway, he's, he's like a scientist, doctor, and he's, uh, he works at this uh, Air Force uh, nuclear testing base. And they just basically tested a new nuclear bomb out in the desert or something, right? <laughs> so him and his other buddy go up in one of their jet fighter planes, that, to, you know, to see how much fallout is is exposed to the area and stuff like that. They're up there just kind of cruising around and everything, you know, and they're just uh, with all their testing equipment inside their jet, right? And apparently they see something glowing on the on the ground, like a. I don't know. It's like a white globe or something. It's actually the it's a space people. <laughs> so basically, what happens is both of them pass out and the plane crashes. So they both got killed, but Peter Graves really didn't get killed. The other pilot got demolished and ripped apart. <laughs> and they, of course, they examine the site. And they can't find uh, Peter Graves' body. They just find the other body. You know, the plate. The plane is in wreckage. Just a thousand different pieces. <laughs> oh my God, it's a terrible movie, man. Oh, we're gonna show you some clips in a few minutes. It's, this is really like a psychological, mind-bending sci-fi, uh, <laughs> you know, hallucinogenic uh, thriller, sci-fi thriller. Oh my God, it's terrible. Oh, oh my God, it's terrible. Peter Graves, I, I love Peter Graves. Remember, he was the thing. In that 1954 movie with Tana Toby. Ah, you know, the, the dying carrot from space. <laughs> oh, anyway, so I kind of like, uh, we're actually going to show you some clips. I'm just kind of give you the rundown. So basically, he comes wandering back to the Air Force Base, all ripped up his flight suit and everything. And, you know, he has no memory of what happened to him. As far as he knows, he survived the crash. He actually didn't. Because the aliens revived him and brought him back to life. Because they have plans for him. They want him to basically help them conquest Earth. <laughs> yeah, they got these giant... They're about the size of these eyes right here. The killers from space are just ugly as fucking hell. They, they, they speak English. They wear these black jumpsuits. And basically, they, they, their eyes are like giant ping pong balls. They're ugly as hell, man. And they're, they're actually... They're actually holding up inside this mountain right by the Air Force Base. You know, with all these, like, 1930s, 40s electrical equipment and everything. You know, like, you remember Frankenstein and the Wolfman, all this kind of, you know, Dr. Fr you know, that, <laughs> that kind of shit. Oh, my God, it's so cheesy, man. Oh, my God, it's the cheesiest movie I ever saw in my life. It's just... <laughs> oh, let's show you some clips. We'll kind of talk more about... We'll flip the webcam around and we will show you some clips, turn the volume up. Except we're going to go backwards first. Alright, let's go back to the first. Here we go. This is the opening scene. This is where they're testing all their goddamn nuclear shit. I'm going to turn the volume up too for you. Right there. 26. Oh my god. This is the opening scene where they're testing a nuclear weapon. And then you get to see Peter Graves and the other guy go up in a plane and uh, test the atmosphere for radiation uh, fallout and shit like that. Ooh. <laughs> Typical 1950s, uh, uh, you know, nuclear disastrous movie. Does, did they say disastrous? I don't know. Fuck. Stab the air. Yeah. We'll show you some scenes in a few minutes. The bomb goes boom and explodes. How about, how about that? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, anyway, it's pretty funny, man. You know, it's one of those... I don't know how long this movie is. I was watching it this afternoon because I really never saw this movie. But it's fucking boring as hell. <laughs> oh, anyway, when Peter Graves gets back to the base, none of the doctors believe that he's actually alive. They think he's an imposter or something like that. Because he survived that horrendous wreckage in the fighter jet plane. <laughs> Okay, let's watch a couple more scenes. I'll show you the beginning ones because it's kind of funny. Command of the plane is given to the bombardier. Here we go. Here we go. The big boom is coming. The big boom. Peter Graves. Oh. Oh my God. It's the end of the world. <laughs> Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, kaboom. <laughs> oh, isn't that isn't that horrendous? This is fucking scary, actually. Look at that mushroom. That looks like the uh, the mushrooms you buy at the goddamn grocery store for your burger. <laughs> you can't see that. Anyway, that was, yeah, you saw the opening title. Uh, we'll just leave this go because uh, all the credits are going to come up and then YouTube might say, don't do that. <laughs> so basically, like I said, he starts coming back to the base all wrecked and everything, Peter Graves. And of course, the doctors are examining him, trying to figure out if he's actually the real deal. And he is. Uh, like I said, the aliens revived him. They put some kind of a, some kind of a surgical thing on his chest. I don't know what the hell they did, man. Really cheesy ass fucking special effects. So he's 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 going back and forth to his house with his wife and and uh, Air Force Base and stuff like that, trying to convince the doctors they're doing a battery of tests on him to try to see if he's actually real. But no one, everybody thinks he's dead. He's really not dead. He's just like he's he was manipulated by the aliens, right? That's really what it's about, man. They wanted to use him because they plan on conquesting the planet Earth. They're going to bring a million of their idiots down here, eradicate the human race, breed giant lizards and spiders for food, uh, help this... <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go to the next scene. This is where they find that... This is where they find that... Okay, here we go. This is where they see the big boop, the big bleepy on the ground. I'm passing out. The radiation is too much. Look at this cheesy ass plane. Peter Graves is in that plane with his co-pilot. Yeah, let's get this goddamn. Yeah, this is one of the spaceships. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That's where they're they were stationed down below at this uh, mountain range or something. Ugh. Anyway, the plane crashes. Enough. You've seen enough. Woo -hoo. Pull up. Pull out. No, pull up. No, pull out. <laughs> anyway, I, what would I leave off before? So basically, the whole movie just kind of goes along and along, like I said about a billion times in previous uh, reviews. You know, he's trying to convince everybody at the Air Force Base, his wife, you know, his co-workers that he's not insane. And he's actually still alive. He's lucky to be alive because basically the aliens just plan on using him to conquer our planet. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. You know, I can the movie is actually really not that long. It's it's just kind of really stupid. Really stupid, man. I really I don't know why Peter Gr this the aliens are the ugliest fucking thing I ever saw in my life. I ever explained it. They got ping pong uh, ball eyes and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyway, they, uh, <laughs> he basically, you know, he's trying to, he's actually, well, wait a moment. I'm kind of losing track here. <laughs> it's a kind of a weird plot to follow. I'm just, uh, uh they're going to pass on. They're going to go crashing now. No, Peter Graves is wandering the desert trying to get back to town. Oh my god. It can't be true. P 
Peter Graves been killed? Oh my god. What's next? <laughs> ah, it's a frantic search for the two pilots. Yeah, you've seen enough, right? Should I leave the volume up? I don't know. Oh, man. The movie is... You know, Peter Graves actually... Can't remember what happened to him, right? So basically, the whole movie is him trying to rejog his memory and stuff like that. And, you know, he's in the medical center. He's back at home. You know, he can't remember what's going on until finally he starts to remember. He tried to convince the, the idiots at the Air Force Base, the generals and everything, that he actually was a prisoner of these goddamn ping pong eyeball aliens. <laughs> oh, this is a movie so stupid, man. It's actually just... I don't know if people actually thought this was a good movie. It's just really terrible, actually. Oh, 11 minutes, not bad. We got plenty of time to rant about this movie. Oh, studio looks wonderful. I look wonderful. Oh, my God. Oh, here, here's Peter Graves coming back to the Air Force Base. all ragging it up, man. Sees his flight suit is all ripped and everything. I don't know where it was. Such a touching soundtrack. Dr. Martin! Dr. Martin, are you all, are you all right? You're still alive! Oh my god, it's a miracle! Dr. Martin, call the base hospital! Come on, Doctor. <laughs> I'm telling you, if everything right, I'm telling you is right. true. Now look over to your left. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're trying to examine him. You know, like I said, they think he's an imposter because no one could possibly survive that uh, plane crash, of course, you know. And he actually didn't. Like I said, the aliens brought him back to life because they planned, like I said earlier, they plan using him to conquer our planet. <laughs> oh, I love all this shit, man. Oh, who comes up with these fucking plots? The only people I recognize in this movie is Peter Graves. There's a couple other recognizable actors here, but... You know, it's like a really slow, psychological, sci-fi, you know, nightmare dream or something like that. Which actually turns out to be true. You know, and then, it's so, so stupid, man. Oh, my God. Okay, let's watch a little more. Does this irritate you when I turn the webcam back and forth? I hope it irritates you. <laughs> I don't understand. How can I be alive? Mr. Briggs. Colonel Mack, how are you, Mr. Briggs? Fine, how are you? Fine, nice Would to you. Would you like a cigarette? Well, I'm not with the health of Colonel. Oh, you know our base surgeon, Major Cliff? Sure, how are you doing, Major? How do you do? <laughs> well, I guess you gentlemen have business to discuss. Oh, the acting is okay in the movie. Sit down, please, gentlemen. It's a really cheesy ass plot, though. I don't believe it's actually well, Dr. Martin. I think he's an imposter. Uh, according to my file, Dr. Martin is just about the key man on this. Oh, anyway. Uh, I don't know. We're going to fast forward some of the frames because it's kind of like there's a lot of talk in this movie. A lot of psychological, you know, psychologists, psychiatrists, you know, people trying to figure out if he's alive, if he's actually telling the truth, if he's actually, you know, if it's all fabricated in his, just his warped out mind, you know. <laughs> oh my God, this is terrible. Should we fast forward this a little bit? We'll get to do better parts in this. The, the first 25 minutes is mainly a lot of jibber-jabber. You know, they're trying to figure out if he's real. Like I said eight times before, if he's actually alive, he's actually the real Dr. Martin, you know? Oh, my God. And, oh, God, this is terrible. Oh. Remember that last movie I did? What the hell was that? Teenagers from Outer Space? Oh, my God. I mean, the Conehead dialogue. We must consume large quantities of food. <laughs> Let's fast forward this movie a little bit. Let's go one frame up. Here we go.
I got the volume up to about 26. Okay. See, he's trying, he's waking up hallucinations. He's having hallucinations. Here's one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We get to see one of the aliens pretty soon. They're controlling his mind from, from inside the mountain. Doug. Doug. I need a glass of milk to soothe my nerves so I can sleep like a little baby. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, I always watch other people doing reaction videos and they're always blurring out some aspects of the movie that are music that they're... This is how I do it. <laughs> so YouTube... I think this movie is copyright free, actually. Duty desk. Where's Dr. Johnson? I need to talk to him right now. Ooh. He's pretty harsh with his wife there. This is Dr. Martin calling. Who is this speaking? Dr. Bandero. Anything I can do for you, doctor? I wondered if there were any last minute orders on another atomic test. What do you mean you can't tell me? Sorry, sir. Regulations. I can't give out information to anyone. <laughs> no, sir, it won't do you any good to come down. No, don't no, come down. He does come down and steal the information he needs, though. There he goes. I think he goes down to the Air Force base, but I'm not real sure. I'd rather get out of the base right away. Now, don't you agree with me? I've spent months preparing for this series of tests, and no sergeant is going to push me around now. Well, you, gonna say <laughs> you son of a bitch, you should be in bed with me. Can't you understand? I need I need your nookie. <laughs> oh, anyway. So I kinda get to the end of the movie. He finally figures out he has all this paperwork he's doing one night in bed or in the hospital again because he went back for some uh, additional tests and everything and he figures out how he can destroy the aliens which are living in the mountain with their giant lizards and scorpions and frogs and you know creepy crawly things and hundreds of the goddamn aliens see their plan their plan is to come to earth that shows that like, flashbacks of their world where they've been there apparently their son is dying so they need to conquest another planet to make the, <laughs> they have a billion uh, uh, citizens that they need to find a new world so they want to use our world to basically uh, to set up shop and of course we'll probably be exterminated and uh, <laughs> oh my god so stupid oh these uh, you, I think you'll recognize the aliens like I said earlier about 10 minutes ago five minutes ago they got these ugly ass fucking eyes they look like ping pong balls <laughs> with black like jumpsuits. And they, of course they speak English like I said earlier. And it's just so stupid, man. Uh, you know, they want him to help them conquer Earth, like I said a couple times already. And of course he's not has, he doesn't want no part of it, of course. <laughs> but he figures out how to kill him. Uh, he goes down to the, well, we'll, we'll kind of get to the ending. But there is a scene inside the cave where he, before he escapes back to, uh, Air Force Base, where he's trying to escape, and they won't let him escape. <laughs> There's giant lizards, like I said, giant lizards in there. There's lots of these goons walking around, you know, and they're they're, they're stopping him every possible exit with giant scorpions and lizards. I think it's just like a hallucination type shit. They have his mind completely under control, you know. It's like they're feeding him some kind of drug or something. <laughs> but anyway, like I said. He gets, he gets away and he comes back to the Air Force Base's house and he kind of figures out, figures out how to kill it. Kill the whole uh, mountain, so to speak, with a nuclear explosion from the, uh, uh, the you know, the, the big giant boom boom plant. <laughs> yeah. So basically he kind of kills everybody at the end and the, all the doctors and everything finally believe him that he was actually telling the truth. You know, the, the whole uh, interior of the mountain's been decimated. All the aliens are killed. You know, their plans are killed. You know, and that's really how the movie really ends. You know, he saved mankind. He saved mankind. <laughs> and he's still alive. There's this stupid scene when they first have him in the cave. They, they're doing all these weird tests with this. Like, they're, 
idea that they're making incision on his chest with these little smoky things. That's really stupid looking. And they're just kind of staring at him, kind of going, uh, Just relax, Dr. Johnson. Everything will be fine. Okay, let's watch some more. Anyway, that's how the movie ends. It's not a real long movie. It's just fucking stupid. That's all it is. Apparently, whoever made this movie made too, uh, had too many drugs or something. Took too many drugs. I don't know. This is where he's stealing all the information he needs to do the final boom boom at the end. So he made it back to the Air Force Base. Ah, this is that music. It's yeah, scary. How much time are we up to? Eh, 20 minutes ain't bad. I'm trying to just make this shorter than my last uh, movie review. Don't answer it. They're looking for you. See, they're trying to find him because they know he's a, a security threat now, apparently, you know? They don't think, like I said earlier, they don't think that he's the real deal. <clears throat> He's got his little pipe and everything. This is where he breaks into the vault and gets all the information he needs. A, you know, we, we don't need to see that. It's kind of a, like a weird soundtrack. It's kind of like a, like a suspenseful soundtrack. Let's fast forward this piece of shit. <laughs> if we can, I hope there's another frame. Oh yeah, this is where he's in the cave being uh, manipulated by the aliens. Look at these fuckers. Look how they're doing to him, man. They brought me back to life. This is early on in the movie. Before he stumbles back to the Air Force Base, all ripped up and everything. What happened? Who are you? What is this place? What is this place? You're not human. Who are you? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Who are you? Oh my God! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Don't touch me! Okay, that's enough of that shit. Should I leave the volume up? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's that's an early scene that I, I, I you know, it's kind of, I just went to like the third frame here because there's a lot of jibber jabber in between the frames and you don't need to see every little frame because my review is already up to like 23 minutes. My trusty yeah, 23. My trusty magnifying glass. Yeah, see, I can see all. I can, I can see every one of you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, okay. 23 minutes ain't too bad. I got Boris in the background, of course. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I think we're gonna do some more movies off this collection. Mill Creek, uh, whatever. What the hell is this again? I don't know what the hell it is has 50 different movies on it. You know, there's a lot of cool sh clunkers in this goddamn collection. I might have to do some more clunkers. Oh, my God. Look at that. Who's on the cover there? I don't know. It's got, well, it's got 50 different movies on it. You should, see, I'm sure you'll find something you like here. I know, I'm not sure how many, I think I've done a couple uh, reviews off this collection. I got a lot of reviews to do off this collection. There's a lot of clunkers and a lot of stupid movies. There's the backside with everything like I just showed you. All 50 movies, the, you know, the technical information, all that kind of crap like I normally say. You know, and the, the running length, uh, the times on each movie. You know, stuff like that. Killer Creature Feature. Yeah, whatever. This made no difference. You've seen enough. <laughs> 
Okay, let's spin to the next frame. Oh yeah, this is where they're showing what they're gonna do. Not anyone ever seeing you. Our ships have been sighted on numerous occasions by your people. Then why haven't we been able to track one down? We have a warning system similar to your primitive radar. Oh, a primitive! Our machines are Fuck you! course at the mere approach of a pursuing object. Let's say I do believe you. Where are we right now? In a cavern. Within the upper crust of the earth. Oh yeah, I guess they're below the, the crust the of the earth. Since the beginning of your experiments in nuclear fission. What have you got to do with that? We are accumulating the energy released with each of your atomic explosions. We want to know if you can exterminate us. One moment. With your big boom booms. That's enough of that shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh my god, it's another one of those aliens testing, uh... I don't know what the fuck he's doing, man. He's up there testing the atmosphere up. From the monitor we sent to the surface to obtain the results of your last nuclear test. Results? <laughs> They'll take days to analyze and compute. I think you will find these We have the information immediately because we're superior. We're superior. Make no mistake about it. We will conquer Earth and your people. <laughs> you don't recognize the area. No. He is in the vicinity where you crashed. And you died. Okay, that's enough of this shit. It's glowing. You're fucking dead, dude. You're lucky to be alive, man. I like that. You're fucking dead. You're actually dead. But you're now you're a fucking living dead zombie. Because we had an important need of your services. Okay, that's enough of this shit. Oh my god. This ain't gonna get a very good re I mean a good rating, but you know. That being said, it's pretty schlocky. Pretty you know, it's really campy, schlocky. You know, it's just, it's not a really good movie. Soundtrack is actually better than the goddamn movie, man. It kind of like a, like a, oh, like, oh my God, this is terrible. Anyway, I decided to come back and do this review tonight because I, I, like I said, I'm off for five days. Like, I've, well, you know my routine, right? All you children know my routine, right? I only work two days up at Shithole Cub Foods. <laughs> per week. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about this movie and uh, rating. You know, I, we're up to about 25 minutes here, something like that. 20, 28, we got to kill it, man. I can't give this a very good rating because it's, well, I mean, technically it's not a bad story. Peter Graves is always Peter Graves, you know, when he was younger and everything like that. And, of course, Mission Impossible and all those TV shows he was on and, you know, and the, all those campy you know, those airplane movies or something, you know, he's, yeah, I think he just died recently, but I'm not really too sure. But we're going to give this movie, we're only going to give this movie a, oh, maybe a six spiderwebs at the very most. I just can't, you know, it's, like I said, it's not a bad movie. The script isn't, isn't half, de half bad. It's just schlocky and goofy and, you know, more of a psychological sci-fi nightmare dream <laughs> which is actually true you know it actually is unfolding at the Air Force Base and everything with Peter and his co-workers you know and stuff like that so we're gonna give this only a five five spider webs because yeah, I don't know I watched like I said I watched this whole movie straight through this afternoon you know I kept going out oh, god it's a lot of dialogue in this movie a lot of dialogue 
a lot of jibber jabber, you know. You know, it just kind of like makes you think. You, you know what's going on, but it kind of makes you think it's, it's actually a surreal dream or something like that. <laughs> oh, but five spider webs for killers from space. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm coming back next. Maybe Sunday night or next week or what? What, what is today? Monday? I don't know. Is it, is it Tuesday? Almost Tuesday. So, like I said, five. Like I said, for the third time, five spider webs for killers from space. Beware. They're out to take our planet and to conquer Earth and colonize Earth. <laughs> I don't know who came up. Like I said, I don't know who came up with their 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 design with the ping pong ball eyes. But you know, <laughs> you'll recognize them immediately if you see in any classic movies from the fifties and stuff like that, sci-fi or horror or whatever it might be. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get going. Uh, should we see? It? We'll take a let's take a look at one more scene. I don't, oh, this is where he's this is where he's trying to escape. You know, in the cavern. <laughs> All these giant bugs are just walk. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, these guys don't even care about him. The other uh, aliens, they know he's trapped. But he keeps hallucinating that there's giant lizards and shit in here. I wait for one of the giant lizards first. <laughs> Look at these guys. Must have been a high budget to get those uh, uniforms and uh, masks. Uh, Oh my god! This guy's watching him too. Where is he now? Cavern 25. <laughs> That's enough of this shit, man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call it, man. I'll turn the cam back. Anyway, like I said, five spider webs for killers from space. Uh this wasn't too bad for me to you. <laughs> Until next time, we shall see you. I don't know what we're going to do next time. I'll find a good one off here. And I'm sure that you'll, you'll truly enjoy it. Oh, with my outstanding commentary. Okay, we'll see you later. Five spider webs for Killers from Space. For the 25th time. Until next time. I don't know. Until the next time. How about that?